What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to have some fun talking about the NYX Biosensor. Um, now, this is just a cool little uh, sweat sensor that I came across last year. It uh, flew across on my social media feeds and these you know, paid advertisements. Um, so I was like, well, that sounds kind of funky. Like, well, let, me, let me try that. So I signed up for the email updates, and I actually got on the early pre-order list back in, I think, October and November uh, of 2022. And then I finally got it a couple months ago. Um, so this thing's kind of cool. And full disclaimer, we have no relation to them whatsoever. I don't get paid by them. This I paid for this thing myself just because I thought it was cool. And I was like, oh, I want to know this for myself. And I want to know um, if there's any value added information that I can give to, uh, to our patients and our followers. And so um, all in all, honestly, I really do think um, that this is a pretty nifty uh, you know, device. And so we'll talk more about you know, costs and all that later. But um, you know, the reason why I thought this was interesting, not just for training for myself, but I thought the content would be great because last summer, Justin and I spent a lot of time talking about proper hydration, uh, rehydration, and electrolyte replenishment during training and racing. And so, um, you know, surprise here, uh, this told me that I was well under the levels that I needed to replenish my electrolytes. Um, and so that's what this thing does, is this gets you, uh, the sensor gives you a sweat profile, your sweat profile. So everybody sweats when they're exercising, well, most people, not Justin apparently. Um, but when you sweat, you're losing a certain amount of um, content in that sweat, and those are our electrolytes, and that's your sweat profile. Some people are heavy sweaters, some people don't sweat that heavily, and some people lose more electrolytes than others, and your body is really good at regulating things, and it will you know, change those levels depending on what your demands are and what it has and allows you to do. So um, you know, I'm somebody that traditionally ends up in the med tent um, after my races, my long races, because uh, apparently, I'm really under replenishing um, what I need, and so um, you know, uh, last year in our content, we you know we were able to give people a line of best fit from the research that says most people benefit from up to a thousand or twelve hundred milligrams of sodium an hour. And what I'm finding is what this told me on my long runs and rides, I'm losing well into the thousands of milligrams of electrolytes per hour. And so at my sweat rate, I was nowhere near replenished enough to continue on my efforts for hours and hours. And so. That's no surprise to me. And, and honestly, that alone right there is great information for me. It's well worth what I paid for this. Now, let's assume this thing isn't 100% accurate. I don't care. If it's even in the ballpark, remotely close to what my sweat profile actually is, then I just learned a lot, and it should help me a lot this summer with my big races coming up. So I already made some changes to my training uh, when I remember to bring the correct bottles. Um, you know, But that alone is, is really, really helpful for me. And that's where I think that this biosensor is kind of useful, um, so to speak. There are a few other sensors out there, um, you know, but reading up on them, this is the only one I've tried, reading up on them, one of them that was high rated, you have to send it away. So from an immediate gratification standpoint, I don't want to spend the money to have to put a gauze pad on my arm and then wrap it in some sort of special wrap and then exercise and then carefully put it in a vial and send it back to them to analyze. I don't want to do with any of that. You know, this thing, um, you know, it comes with single use patches for your arm and it's a reusable sensor and it just clicks in place and I get my information right to my phone. So that's the cool thing about this is it is Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. There's an app that you download um, and the sensor will actually give you real time push notifications as well as far as how much you're losing. So that's why they recommend that you use it for workouts that are 45 minutes or more. It takes a while for the patch to accumulate your sweat on your arm, and the arm is where they recommend you put it. Nowhere else, not your forehead, not your back, not your chest, wherever, on your forearm, because it has something to do with representing um, your overall sweat loss in your body. So um, I didn't argue with that. I, I use it as instructed, um, and I got some great results out of it. So you put it on your arm, and um, you know it will send you push notifications in real time. It's compatible with your watch and your um, bike computer if you're a cyclist like me. Um, but you have to have your phone on you in order to get those push notifications. You don't have to have your phone on you to exercise. So I like to run without my phone. So I'll actually, I'll set this thing up on my arm in the car and then I'll leave my phone in the car and I go for my run. I come back home, I open, or sorry, I come back to my car, I open up my app, I stop the workout, it saves and it downloads and actually transmits back to the, uh, to the phone pretty quickly. Most times less than 15 seconds. So, um, you know, from a user standpoint, it's fairly simple. Um, you know, when you get the box, you open up the box and, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, the unboxing is kind of fun. Um, it's got a lot of great stuff in there, but it's pretty straightforward. It's sleek. I kind of like the colors. Um, the sensor itself is really, really tiny and the patches 
are very comfortable. You really barely notice it while it's on you. Um, and it clicks in place. It's pretty secure on your arm. You definitely want to put it on your skin while you're dry. You don't want to do it after um, you raise sweat um, or if you have lotions and stuff like that, like any you know adhesive. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. It clicks in place. Uh, just a nice little quarter turn. Um, they do want you to orient it correctly, um, but you know there's markers on there, so it's fairly simple. Any issues are definitely going to be user related. Um, you know, and then you can go out and exercise with it, and then you just come back and um, you hit stop, hit record. Um, you know, transfer your, your data, um, you know, let it save, and then you just take the patch off, put it back in its case, and then you, um, you know, or sorry, you take the sensor off, put it back in the case, and then you throw away the, um, the sweat patch. Um, that's the only downside is the sweat patches are single use, and I'll, I'll talk about those. Um, the cool thing is the charging case is fairly big. You're not going to lose it. And um, it's like wireless earphones. The sensor actually charges while it's in the case. So you can plug the case in um, to charge it, but then the case itself will hold the charge. I think, but this thing will last for hours and hours and hours and hours, like, you know, 10 plus hours easily um, on a single go from what I've, I've seen. So uh, now I'm not exercising that much, but um, it's no problem for my four hour uh, bike rides that I'm, I'm doing for, uh, for distance stuff. And my runs are no problem because they're nowhere near that either. From an endurance perspective, you're doing ultras. Um, I don't know, again, you want to check out the, um, the total time there, but uh, the battery on this thing seems to be pretty good. And it's not transmitting a whole lot. So it's a small device, the battery is really not, um, can be used by, by that many things. So battery life is pretty good. The boxing is cool. Um, like I said, the carriage, carrying case board is pretty good. Um, USB-C connector uh, for charging. Um, I will say the only thing I didn't like was the software on this thing needs to be updated. And I, I played around with this with some friends um, and uh, they, they know about this stuff. And the software definitely needs to be updated. There's a couple of glitches when trying to connect. It says the sensor's connected, but then it doesn't sense it when I actually connect it to the patch because you have to uh, attach the sensor to Bluetooth and then you have to put it on the patch and it's supposed to recognize it. So the first few times it didn't recognize it. Um, but my problem, my solution for that was just log out of the app and then log back in and it seemed to be just fine. So um, the Bluetooth is easy to find on the phone. Um, there wasn't an issue there. It was just inside the app, the software has uh, a little bit of a glitch and I think they'll be able to update that rather quickly. So uh, I've already let them know. Um, so. Other than that, it's cool. After the workout, uh, it gives you a breakdown of your sweat profile. It tells you how many milligrams of sodium, or sorry, of electrolytes you lost per hour, so what your rate of loss is, and it tells you how much fluid you lost, um, so how much you want to replenish there, too. I mean, things really cool from a value-added standpoint. Um, you know, I asked them, um, it just gives you a single amount of electrolytes lost in milligrams. It doesn't tell you sodium, potassium, magnesium, whatever. Um, so I asked them, I said, hey, listen, is this just total, or is there individual breakdown? And they did reply and say that it's an aggregate of your electrolyte loss. Now we know sodium is going to be one of the, uh, the main ones lost at the highest rates, and it's also the most important. So at this point, I really don't care about knowing which one is which and, and what percentages I've lost other electrolytes. Uh, I really want to know mostly about sodium and how much fluid I've lost so that I can replenish accordingly. Um, and when it tells me in real time while I'm cycling, that's awesome. So if you have your phone on you, like I said, um, you know, my bike computer or my watch will give me a push notification. Um, which is very, very helpful. And I'm definitely gonna do that for my big races. Uh, but other than that, I'll just toss my phone in the car and then I go for my run. I really don't want to know about the, uh, the push notifications there. Uh, but it does give you an aggregate breakdown of your sweat, um, uh, which is nice. And he said that they're gonna work on improving that in the future. Now, honestly, for the price point, I think this is fine where it is. I almost don't want them to do that if it's gonna increase the cost too much. Um, but uh, all in all, this, this thing has been pretty cool. So, um, you can just go to nixbiosensors.com. It's N-I-X. That's it, nixbiosensors.com. Um, it's 129 bucks, um, you know, and so it's not bad. And that's for the sensor, uh, the charging case. It comes with uh, four sweat sensors um, and the charging cable. And then the refill packs, because remember, the sweat patches are only single use. The refill packs are 25 bucks for a set of four. That's where this thing really becomes kind of steep and pricey. Um, but that being said, you don't want to wear this all the time. You don't want to wear this daily. From a daily use perspective, that's a prohibitive cost, like through and through. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't care. Um, so 25 buck, bucks for four uh, patches and they're single use only. Guess what? I'm going to use this thing a handful of times in the hot, humid months. I want to get an idea of my sweat rate and electrolyte loss rate, cycling and running in the summer in the hot, humid months. And then I also want to know in the colder uh, fall months, when it's cool out, not as humid because the rate of sweat will change. And so I really just want to get some data points here and compare and know 
what's John's response going to be to exercising um, at, in different temperatures and different climates? Because then I can plan accordingly with my nutrition, uh, hydration, and electrolyte replenishment. So um, 139 bucks for the sensor, 25 bucks for a refill pack of four patches, and this thing comes with four alone. So um, you know, you're looking at 129 bucks is going to get you four uses out of it. Um, you don't have to pay. There's no monthly fee for the app, which is nice. So. 129 bucks, and I think there's a 10% off or $10 off coupon or something like that um, if you first sign up, if you go to their website. Um, and then they may even have a subscription discount if you you know get the uh, patches regularly. So um, all in all, it's not that bad from a price perspective. Uh, I'm going to mess around with some patients and some other soccer players that I have to try and get them uh, an idea of how much they have to replenish. Because this is a message we tried to hit home last year is that nobody's replenishing nearly enough do this, you know, up it by this much, and we were giving you a line of best fit. Well, this thing was able to take me to the next objective level where it actually tells me how much I'm losing and how much I have to replenish, and that's very individual. So um, some people are going to be more efficient at sweating. Um, Justin says he's an efficient sweater, which is why he doesn't sweat much. Um, but I know me in the summer months, humid, I sweat like a madman, um, and I'm losing a lot. So, uh, you know, if I can finally nail that down and really replenish properly from a fluid and electrolyte perspective, man, this thing is going to be well worth the investment. In. Like I said, 129 bucks. Um, it's really not that bad. So um, that's it. That's my little review of this Nix Biosensor. Um, you know, it's fun. It's easy to use, uh, streamlined, and you get your results right away. So I think out of the options on the market, this is definitely one of the better ones out there. Um, and I've been having some fun playing around with it. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know.